thick raindrops and strong gusts of wind. A storm front passes through northern Germany. It's a peak time at the wind farm. Lots of power is produced and lots of money made. Strong winds tear at the rotor blades. But the dynamic forces also have a direct impact on the internal workings of the facility. Gears, clutches, and generators have to withstand the strain over many thousands of operating hours. Any breakdown would substantially diminish the profitability of the wind power unit. To prevent the occurrence of any sudden damage, engineers from the CMC company ride a lift into the nacelle of the wind turbine. Their goal is to install a condition monitoring system, or CMS for short. The system monitors the condition of rotating parts inside the wind turbine. The CMS needs sensors for monitoring, and the team attaches acceleration sensors to parts that are exposed to especially high stress, such as the main bearing, the gearbox, and the generator. The sensors measure vibrations caused by the enormous forces at work. Compared to auto components, the moment of force here is tens of thousands of times greater. The information gathered by the sensors is digitalized and recorded together with data from other turbines in the wind farm. From here, the data travels via mobile communications or a normal internet connection to company headquarters in Kiel. Condition monitoring data from more than 1,000 wind turbines from the Danish border to Sicily is gathered here. All the data is saved on a central server. A small team of diagnostic engineers analyze the data in Kiel. Every bearing in a component oscillates at a certain frequency. The engineers can calculate these frequencies based on the geometry of the bearing. They scan the facility's data in search of these characteristics. If they recognize changes that indicate damage, the engineers inform the wind farm operator. Normally, the operator is informed of abnormalities and damage on a monthly basis. But if the damage is serious, he'll be informed right away. That way, we can immediately enter into a dialogue with the operator and plan measures to repair the damage. If condition monitoring data reveals that a component is faulty, the wind turbine operator can inform a repair service, like the gear tech company in Egebeck, north of Hamburg. The firm specializes in the repair and maintenance of wind turbine gears. The data allows technicians to accurately plan repairs before the damaged turbine comes to a standstill. That means the gears don't have to be disassembled first. Thanks to the analysis, repairs can take place directly on the turbine. And if needed, the technicians can order replacement parts ahead of time. Again, thanks to the monitoring data. After the assembly and one last quality check, the part is back in place. And that reduces enormous amounts of downtime. 
Condition monitoring allows us to reduce the downtime of wind turbines by half, and gear repairs can be quickly planned and carried out. Cutting downtime by half increases efficiency, thereby boosting the economic viability of the wind turbine. And condition monitoring can be applied to more than just the mechanical components. Rotor blades, for example, can also benefit from the system. That's why CMS engineers climb into the blade itself. Their goal is to install an acceleration sensor here as well. In contrast to mechanical components, a long oscillating system like a rotor blade has its own characteristic frequency. And if that frequency changes, it's an indication of damage. During operation, data from the sensor later makes it possible to pinpoint the defect down to the meter or even centimeter. Engineers on location can then inspect the blade knowing where to locate the defect. That way no damage is overlooked during maintenance and downtime is reduced even further. Condition monitoring systems involve other sensoring and analysis procedures as well. Along with the nacelle and rotor blades, the tower is also monitored. Until now, only about 10% of the mechanical parts of onshore turbines have been monitored and less than 3% of the blades. If the sensors are built into the turbine when it first goes into operation, data can be gathered during its entire operating life, a big advantage. This data is valuable for the next generation of wind turbine designers and engineers. The size of turbines has increased rapidly in recent years with a current output of 3 to 4 megawatts onshore and 6 to 8 megawatts offshore. But output is unlikely to grow as quickly in the years ahead. That means monitoring data from today's turbines can also be used to optimize the next generation. And that will lead to even less downtime in the future, boosting profits yet again for especially efficient facilities. <laughs>